Well, I mean, Kenny had thrown a very <laughs> successful Easter event. Uh, uh, for, I think it was for Net2. For Net2, yeah. For Net2, and, you know, it had about 20,000, 40,000 people out there. So, you know, Kenny came, he showed us the videos. We all was like, oh, what? This is what you did? This is how much we can make? Oh, yes, let's do it. <laughs> so uh, I told you about the Collective Big Five. You know, we got everybody, all the teams to invest mm -hmm. in what we were doing. And for a lot of those guys, they were Ghanaian, but it was their first time in Ghana in a very mm -hmm. long time. So we put together the event, but we, there were so many things that now that I think back on that we do for each other that we just didn't know, yeah. right? First, we didn't know that the 26th of December is not a beach day. Mm -hmm. So trying to do an event at the beach would just be embarrassing, yeah. you know, right? right? Uh, so there were nuances that we had to learn about Ghana as well. You know, even though we were from there, there were certain things that we just didn't know. Um, so that was one of the things that we learned, uh, you know, our marketing wasn't as robust as we thought we, it was, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, and we didn't have a lot of funding to start the event. Mm. Literally, honestly, now that I think back on it, we were very lazy about no, that wrong. event. We were, just, <laughs> we were trying to like, you know, just capitalize. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes that's the one of the things that separates Afrochella from anything we've done before because there was Such purpose. Such intentional about yeah, it. Yeah, there was, it was intentional, there was purpose behind it. And mm. I learned, those for me personally, there were lessons learned from that event. Mm. Um, out of that event, the, the most successful part for me were the talent that were on the stage. You know, they weren't, they weren't uh, very big artists, uh, but they were so talented. They were so, so talented. Mm -hmm. So even though the crowd was empty, I watched the entire show mm -hmm. uh, from beginning to end. And I was like, wow, these people, they ha there's opportunity here for these uh, rising talents for us to do something that highlights them. Because, you know, even in Ghana, when we talk about our artists, a lot of people tend to talk about the top ones, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the top three or the top four mm -hmm. or five people. But nobody really mentions some of these rising talents that mm -hmm. exist. And... Uh, that was what I took from that component. And, and, and you know, so it just made sense that it, how do we kind of make, create a space around talent like this to make something successful? It was the beginning stages to the ideation of what would come after Trello. Mm.